Um, I guess it started with the Beano and making little comics similar to that when I was about seven. Uh, just little stories about characters I'd made up, like Weird and Funky Freddy and Andy and his magic mammoth. <laughs> Sometimes I'd draw with my friend Dean and we made our own little book by gluing our comics together. Then I got into reading things like Peanuts and Far Side and started drawing strip cartoons. When I was about 11 or 12 I did a few strips for a drama group I was in and they got published in a local paper as little advertisements for plays we put on. Uh, and that was really cool, it made me feel like a real cartoonist. <laughs> in my early teens I drew loads. Um, I would make stupid comics about my friends and based on like in-jokes and stuff. Uh, and I'd photocopy these at the post office and sell them in school. I imagine they were kind of weird and didn't make much sense to anyone outside of our friend group though. Around that time I also got into webcomics, like in a big way, and did a photo comic, uh, which I posted on an MSN group site with soft toys and things I found lying around the house, and that was called The Dwelling of the Black Lamb. Then later I got a tablet and started another webcomic that was kind of a horror sci-fi monster comedy called Felix and the Kidney Eater. I have no idea how many people, if any, read that, but it was kind of fun to do. I stopped posting it though halfway through the second story arc. After finishing school, I discovered graphic novels and indie comics in a tiny section in the local library and just sort of read everything they had basically. I took a year out of education to decide whether I wanted to go to university or not and ended up drawing a 144 page comic which I burnt as a PDF onto 100 CDs and sold them so I could travel around the UK for a bit and visit friends and stuff. A side note, uh, later on I traded the copies I hadn't sold for things other people had made and did a little video showcase of all the things I got. Um, I also hid some in bookshops and libraries, uh, but I don't know if anyone ever found them. So on the day I set out travelling on my year out, um, it was hourly comic day, where people would draw comics for every hour they're awake about the stuff that's going on in that hour. And that was the first hourly comic day I did. And I've done it every year since. Hourlies are the best. I love them so much. They're my favourite. Um, and then while I was away, uh, my friend Rose introduced me to a whole bunch of new comics. Uh, particularly, like, I spent a lot of time reading Jeffrey Brown and a lot of autobiographical things. I tried really hard not to look like I was crying reading Clumsy on a Crowded Train. That summer then, uh, I was back home and I went through sketchbooks and doodles I'd made over the year and used them to kind of structure a sort of semi-autobiographical series of four comics about my year called Tasks Of. And I sold a few of those by printing them out and selling them to people who'd ordered them over the internet, but I had to stop doing that because I went to university and couldn't use my mum's printer anymore. Then I didn't really do a lot of comics in my first year of uni, but I I'd really liked doing the autobio stuff, uh, and I was reading a lot, and I kind of had the idea that I wanted to do a, like a journal of comics, like a diary strip thing. And I told my friend Anna, and she gave me a little sketchbook and drew a dinosaur on the front and wrote Ed's comic journal. So I had to do it then, really. And I did, and I started making comics about stuff that was going on, little things that happened, stuff I was thinking about, uh, and I posted a couple of them on my blog, and then set up a Tumblr for them called Box Rocket Comics. And I'm still doing that. Then in late 2011, early 2012, uh, I was posting little songs on YouTube, and my friend Dave, who runs a little indie record label called Scratch Out Records, said that if I ever wanted to release a CD, he'd be happy to help. Uh, and so I emailed him to ask about maybe doing an EP that came with a comic book. And he liked the idea, so I drew a 15 page mini comic called Box Rocket and went up to Derby and we recorded some songs and then got that printed and stuff and that's been great. I've done a couple of things with Scratch That since. Uh, we did a book called Dog Man and Me about a guy with a dog on his head uh, and Ambition which came out last year uh, which is another one with a CD and I guess that's kind of about transitions and looking towards the future and stuff. Yeah.
I don't know, it's weird. Like, because even though I've done all those comics before, um, and there's like a load that I left out, just to, just for time really, um, but like even though I've been doing comics pretty much my, my whole life, I guess, um, I feel like I'm only just starting out. Like, like all of those things were just sort of sketches or um, like rough drafts or experiments just trying to figure out what I'm doing with this. Um, and it's only just now that I feel like, or like maybe in the last year or so, I feel like I'm just beginning to make proper comics, if that makes sense. And I don't know if that's because maybe, like, I know what I'm doing a little bit more now, or like I'm I'm a little bit more focused. I've got a little bit more focus, or I'm more comfortable, or or whatever with the comics that I'm that I'm working on at the moment, um, or if it's just something that's always going to be there. Um, like I'm always going to feel like. I'm just sort of starting out. I'm always going to feel like what I've done before is not being proper and what I'm doing now is proper. I don't know. I don't know. I do feel there's been a bit of a shift though recently. So right now I have three tumblers where I post comics. There's a moon comic which is an action-adventure webcomic about space and uh, giant worms and magical orbs and stuff like that. Um, I started it at the end of last year and I'm taking a bit of a break at the moment to draw chapter 5. So now's a great time to catch up if you're interested in that. Then there's uh, Box Rocket Comics, which I mentioned before, and that's just uh, little comics I put up about life and stuff. Uh, and pretty much anything to do with comics that I make, I post on that. Then there's uh, edstockham.tumblr.com, which is kind of my main blog, I guess. It's not so much about comics, I mostly just post up pictures uh, and other stuff I'm doing, uh, but I reblog everything from Box Rocket Comics uh, onto that. So if you only want to follow one of my tumblers, that's the one to follow. <laughs> I also have a Gumroad account, which is kind of like Bandcamp, but you can put whatever you want on it. And that's where I put up PDF digital copies of some of the mini comics I've made. Um, some of the things I've mentioned before and some other things as well. And they're all pay what you like. Um, some of them have a minimum cost of like a pound or something. Uh, but the others you can buy them for whatever you think is fair or whatever you can afford. Um, or you can download them for free if you like. And recently um, I got a few of the comics from Gumroad printed. There's Burrow Life, which are collections of some of the best or some of my favourite comics from uh, my Box Rocket Comics Tumblr. And then there's also Owl Goes For A Walk, which is a little picture book about an owl. Um, and I took these to sell at Summer in the City, and I've also taken them to a couple of comic shops. Um, but I've still got loads left, and I'm not really sure what to do with them. Uh, so if you want a copy, um, of either of these, then let me know and maybe I'll like set up an online shop or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah. And finally, there's also Patreon, um, where if you pledge, I think it's three dollars or higher, I'll send you a link to a folder where you can download uh, all of the comics that are on Gumroad, uh, as well as a couple of extra exclusive ones as well. So yeah, um, I think that's everything I want to say about my comics. Um, I'll put links in the description to everything I've talked about that has links. Um, and yeah, cool. See you soon. <laughs>